Good day guys, uh, my name is Jordan Jacobson. Um, today we're going to be talking to you guys a little bit about uh, some of the trees and in particular the woods of those specific trees that you get within the low felt and in southern Africa. These specific trees that we're going to be talking about are some of the densest in fact in the world. Okay, and they, you get them right here in the low felt in the beautiful Salati Game Reserve. This is red bush willow. Okay, very common tree in the low felt area and here on the Salati Game Reserve. Okay, this is a red bush willow root. All right, now this is what you'd fashion something like this out of. Okay, um, as you can see, you've got the, the narrow end on top and then the thicker end at the bottom. Now, roots have a long time, especially the heartwood. So, how a tree works is you have the sapwood and the heartwood, and the heartwood you can compare to a human body. We have our bones and then we have our flesh. And the sapwood would be our flesh and veins where everything flows through and the heartwood would be living like our bones and marrow but very exceptionally hard especially these slow these slow growing trees like the bush willow family like the leadwood i have this one which is a good example of the sapwood and the heartwood together okay but as you can see the sapwood very much liked by wood borers especially the longhorn beetles which you get a big variety of they love the sapwood but as you can see the heartwood untouched all right, a beautiful grain that comes out of that. This stick in particular is a, is a good example of a fighting stick. And this is what the Shangan people, Tonga people of this area and the Zulus would have used for close combat fighting. Even today with uh, eco training instructors, you often see them with a stick and um, that would be a tracking stick, maybe one of the thinner, lighter woods. And that has also got a, a bounty of uses, pointing out tracks, keeping a direction, um, plenty of uses. So this root, this root is just a good example of what you'd make something like this from. But nowadays, um, someone like me who crafts uh, walking sticks and other small wood art pieces, um, it's very important that we are ecological about this um, as we are ambassadors of nature. So just if you get lucky and an elephant in the camp happens to push over a tree and um, maybe uprooted an old root or something like that, and the termites are not gonna really gain much from it. And we look deep into it, even if you lift an old piece of wood and you see that the termites are still busy there, we'd put it back down. If you'd like to know more or learn more about what we've shown you today, um, and you have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment below. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe.